Hello YouTube and welcome back to Ground Forks. We are back with the science gathered from the high orbit and today we will be dabbling a bit more into planes. As you know, uh, I think two episodes ago we had a successful plane flight all the way up to the uh, all the way up to the island and the plan is again to go back to the island with a little bit better plane that will gather more science data and return back just to prove that the flight is possible. And guys, for the record, I will be posting this plane, particular plane, on the uh, on the Steam Workshop, so you will be able to test it out and download it, so and have fun with it yourselves. So that's kind of the main idea, right? Uh, so without further ado, we are already heavily constructing into it. The principles are the same. The core root parts are the same. I was thinking double tails or single tail and then have a uh, canards in the front so um, hold on come back yes perfect so you you we shall be tilting you upwards i don't think the dual tails are uh, all the rage nowadays you know or maybe they are don't know let's give it a let's give it a try so um canards in front yes that's something that we want to do then uh, wings however this time wings will be swept back and uh, that will give the air the airframe a nice sleek modernistic look that's also important when the kerbals launch yes i have no idea how this will will fly i mean the previous one did fly like a brick so the standards are quite low to be perfect um you know the standards to beat then we have the mark zero fuselages let's assemble the engines that we will be putting there perfect one here and then another one on the other side where is the oh juno here here you are okay so these two are gonna go on the wings Yes, let's put them on the wings. It's a little bit clipping. Does it bother me? I don't know. Not at all. All right. So now let's align the center of thrust, or oh, sort of center of um, mass and the center of lift, because those two should be ultimately nicely aligned. And if I put this guy in a good place, this helps a little bit the tail section yes all right and then the wings if i move them slightly forward it should be fine hopefully so uh yo i want to disable on the ailerons and also on the canards yo i want only enable on the tail section while everything else is being enabled on the regular aerodynamic surfaces so tail is only for the yaw here and obviously vertical stability or i think it's horizontal stability yeah okay wings hold on now you i want to be placing actually materials bay here as well that might actually help with um, reducing length because we don't need the this so close actually Let's put the mystery goose inside. Let's see what the, the goo thinks. Then uh, we have the two hot thermometers that we can put in. Thank you. Then we have uh, some barometer. So this episode will be more of a plain design and then flight episode. And it will be, I think, shot in the real time because the whole episode was short enough, so I didn't need to hammer in the time acceleration. So, as always, like I said, I'm keeping the 20 minute mark, so, or 20, between 20 and 30 minute mark. Let's put the, the uh, batteries. Yes, that's the word. The batteries inside. We'll be placing two of them. And then we will be placing as well 
some... Uh, do I need the solar panels on a plane? I don't think I need them, right? Symmetry mirror, but I do want to rotate these batteries so that they're not but ugly. Okay, never mind, I'm over it. Okay, so landing gear. Let's place the landing gear. One at the front, yes. No symmetry, just make sure that it's nicely placed. Perfect. And then we have the other two landing gear that should be there correctly placed. So something like that, perhaps. No, not on the wings. I have to find the, or maybe on the wings actually, it's not too bad of an idea. Huh. It's worth a shot. Doesn't make for a nice sleek profile. I mean, the plane looks a little bit different, but then again, why not? Let's keep it and see how it goes. I'm gonna call it plane inverse plane two. So sort of like uh, inversion of the previous one. It has thrust weight good enough and it has a high amount of delta V. So let's launch it. Utility. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot uh, the escape system that actually saved our hides in the previous episode. I don't think we will need it in this episode, or I'm hoping we won't need it. But then again, with things Kerbal, you don't want to hope, you want to know. Perfect. All right. Let's kick it. All right, it's night and we are ready to go. Hitting the accelerator and come on, Jeb. Show us how it's done. We're gonna be flying over to the island. So far, plane looks good. Let's not lose the landing gear on takeoff as in the previous one. Okay, seems good. Next order of business. Let's not lose the landing gear on landing. So far the plane is flying quite stable actually. I'm positively surprised. Might want to take a selfie, you know, for the records. There we go, beautiful. Okay, that's gonna be the title pick for the episode. And I'm sorry it's a little bit dark-ish. I'm gonna try to keep it a little bit lighter if possible, but uh, then again, what can you do when it's night time? Alright, let's check it out. Your inactive, yes, good. Authority limiter is full, elevons, and I want to keep them bookmarked because I want to have them the ability to deploy them. Because then I think they act like a sort of a brakes or flaps or whatnot. I'm not exactly sure how the other ones work when deployed. So I used to play with Ferrum, and then on Ferrum, when you had been playing, then you had like flaps and all that jazz. So this is a little bit new to me, just so to say. coming down reducing the power I can already see the landing strip and this time let's hope I won't be needing my parachutes to land Jeb how are you feeling buddy do you feel like landing ah he's happy he doesn't have a problem good Because last time we did it kind of a little bit hastily, if you ask me, but... And again, we are coming up sooner rather than later. Alright, ever so carefully now. Coming up on the island. 
Our airspeed or surface speed is 114 meters per second, which is, I think it's a good enough approach speed, I would say. At the landing we want it to be uh, slightly lower, so now we're deploying extended and I don't want to deploy too quickly because I will be stalling the plane, so I might want to increase throttle ever so slightly. Okay, lining up on the runway. It's a dirt runway, but should be good enough. And kill the power. and deploy the brakes there we go and ladies and gentlemen we have landed amazing landing jab thank you for that steering is enabled uh, direction normal okay then we can go and uh, check out what uh, island has to offer you because we don't need to be rescued apparently that's a first in this series. Let's hope that the return trip will be equally as successful. Now let's just kick it a little bit into high gear. go to the hangar where I think there's an easter egg capsule if I'm not mistaken. Untoggle the brakes. Yeah, pause for selfie. Always have to have time for a good selfie. Let's do the lights on. Selfie. Yes, thank you. All right, wonderful. Now, um, crew report, I think we already did that, fair enough. Materials bay, I'm pretty sure we didn't do, because we didn't have the experiment back then. But uh, let's go closer, I don't know if you get some extra science if you're in the hangar just beside it or not. Might as well be worth checking out one while I already here observe the materials bay island airfield thank you the materials are judging me slightly only slightly ho oh, I feel honored okay pumping in some gas ready to toggle on the brakes let's check out the hangar what do we have here fun stuff yes come on come on in Don't wobble that much, please. And I thought it would be cool to show off. I mean, it's a cool Mark I, I think, capsule. So why not show it in all of its glory? I really like those Easter eggs. However, there could be some new. I mean, would be time for it. Okay, let's do the signs that we were thinking now. I'm thinking log the temperature, yeah we already did that, mystery goo, we did that, pressure data, we did that, oh boy, jab, EVA, EVA report, surface sample, yeah some surface sample, some EVA report, okay so I guess this whole flight was a little bit more for shit and giggles, fair enough. Let's close it and to test, of course, the our plane capabilities. Okay, now we know the plane works perfectly. It's by no means perfect, but then again, it works good enough. So guys, if you will be interested to fly them with yourselves, like, again, like I said, I'm going to provide the description to my workshop page here where you will be able to download, well, most of the craft. I won't do the simple ones like, you know, the booster with a probe that's pretty much everyone can do but these kind of things like small planes and stuff however simple i'm gonna post them and let me know if you're enjoying having flying them and so on so so yeah okay 
as I said, all crafts are stock, and I'm gonna keep this uh, playthrough stock because I think it would be better in the long run. So, with that thing said, kick up the gas and let's go back home. And the craft jiggles and wobbles as the Jeb tries to steer. Just, I hope it doesn't... Okay, perfect. And we are airborne. Perfect. Okay, let's turn on the SAS on. And let's get head back home. Let's just quickly line up, line ourselves as much as we can. And I do want to line up with the runway sooner rather than later because it's easy, you know. Alright, nice alignment. Let's reduce, we don't need to go supersonic just yet. I want to have a little bit stronger engine for that and more, you know, more panache, so to say. Okay, so let's see, uh, we are gonna be soon lining up with the runway. I think 2000 meters should be a good enough altitude. We don't really need to do anything fancy here. It does look good from the get-go, so we're probably just going to roll with that. Alright. There we go, lining up. Alright. Okay, now we're lined up and we are have to be ready to deploy the elevons. So it's now all a matter of executing a fine approach. We already did it on the runway that's harder than this, so Jeb, I hope you're ready. Anyway, this feels more like a real-time episode rather than the previous ones, which were a little bit accelerated. For me, ultimately, it's most important that a certain episode tells a story, so... And if story is well-rounded, like this flight, and I'm hoping it's a successful conclusion. I don't want to jinx it right now, so Jeb. Careful. Easy on the stick, though. And by easy, I don't flip, I don't mean flippity floppity. All right, coming down. The flaps are deployed, and let's now just gently land. Our craft should be stalling any moment. Hopefully, before we run out of runway. Okay, this was a three-wheeled landing. I'm pretty happy with it, as long as it's not nose-based landing. I've been known to do those as well. Okay, let's now taxi back to our hangar. And, uh, well, I feel overall, despite the very little amount of science that we have collected, I feel that this is rather a successful episode, so to say, you know. We had a target, we designed the plane, we tested it, and it looks rather successful it flies pretty well so it's all a matter of figuring out i mean how does it go but i don't get for the life of me why this wobbles i even turned the sas off okay let's taxi off the runway and guys as soon as we park uh, i think we're gonna probably call this for the episode as always let me know how you feel like playing the ksp your trips suggestions ideas i'm all eager to hear them uh like i said i won't be doing mods and i will be sharing craft so also let me know what type of things you would like to see more plain stuff more ssdo stuff more whatever share those in the comments below 
And as the things get disabled, I'd like to thank you all and uh, say thank you very much for watching. This is Groundworks, signing off.